I've just run down the rocks for a surf or a fish. And I got the Saltega back. It just had a bit of a screwed guide from the last trip. This one. So I'm dead frothing to go for a fish. I also brought my board. I brought that down just in case I didn't catch a fish. I don't normally fish during the day, but the conditions are just so nice out there. Check it out. Big current line and I've seen birds bombing and diving. I was just too frothing when I got the rod back and a few cool lures. I'll get it out and show you. Sent the Saltega back in for a service and got it back in like two business days is pretty much unbeatable. Put fresh new Varavis PE4. So I got like over 400 meters of line on there. So dead frothing to use this. Perfectly matched with the meter over. Just looks sick. This rad plastic. Got this guy off Dennis. Can't actually remember what that is, but it looks so good. Could be perfect for a jewfish or something. Just bought another one, the Xerix. I had the super big one of this on the last trip. I caught a pretty big GT on it. That was a hectic So I bought the seven inch 61 gram in pure white. So you could sight cast tuna with this, sight cast anything really, but you can also sink this down for some jewies or something. So I grabbed one of these when I saw it on the shelf and I was like, hell yeah, take that. The Rapala SXR 14 with upgraded owner hooks. Probably put this on first and sight cast with this. I mean, if you get this in front of a, a fish's face, they usually smash it. This looks insane. The QD 180. Thrown it a few times on the last trips and the action is incredible. So good. So it should work really well on the mackerel and tuna around here. So first I'm going to go for a fish and then go for a surf after that. Probably going to have to stash the surfboard in a bush. Maybe just straight up here. Oh, shit. Could be a good little spot actually. Probably snakes and stuff everywhere. More spiders. No one's going to come up here and take my board, are they? Let's get down there and go for a fish. Oh, full on bare grills, eh? Fresh FG Rizzuto finish. Just do a simple uni knot. Always clean up your cutoffs. Check drag. These assassin gloves are epic. Love them. Put the hat on. Let's go catch a fish, eh? Yeah! Might go over here and try for a tailor. No, not even a tailor. Nothing. So I'm gonna get my sunnies. Where are they? So I'm gonna put my sunnies on and go and sit up on the corner there and sight cast to see if I can see anything come past. If I don't see anything, I'm gonna go, go in for a surf, I reckon. Full Hamo sight cast legacy. So I'll sit here for a bit and see if I can see a fish come past. I haven't seen anything. Been here for like half an hour, one more cast. Wow! What? Where did that go? You're kidding me. No way. <laughs> that's ridiculous. Well, that's a really bad FG. So I just casted. My lure went flying up in the air because my FG knot must have been shit. But I heard the lure land on the rock somewhere. I heard like a boom, like a boom, boom, boom. That is hilarious. That's the funniest thing I've ever done in my whole life. If 
someone finds a brand new Rupala with upgraded hooks, you can keep it. <laughs> I think it's time to go for a surf. <sighs> Frothing. Yeah. Probably can't see it, but straight through that gap. Humongous bait ball. Oh, dolphins just there too. Maybe get some more dolphin footage. Looks really fun. It's actually the best waves I've been in since having a camera. Oh. It's fully cranking. Wow. Wow. It's pumping, and there's no one out here. <laughs> oh, he's a really good one. Oh, he is. Look at this. It's really hard to film and saw. I can't believe how fun the waves are, it's so fun. Heaps of waves, so consistent. I'm absolutely starving though. And it's pretty weird surfing with the GoPro in the hands, but we're sort of getting used to it. I think there's a few waves coming right now. Oh. Wow. Wow. No one when I first paddled out, there was a few bah, a few sheep out here. Might well, just get a few more and head in, just too hungry to surf, pretty much. Really good one, really good. There's all the rights here, sick. Oh. No way. Alright. You're better off coming out to swim out here. Oi, you want to go up? I can just swim out here. Just jump in and swim out. You can have my board if you want. Just come out here. Yeah. All right, so these girls, what's your name? Jazz. Jazz. <laughs> Tried to, oh, they went to that beach there, which is really nice. Oh, sorry. But they got stuck. One of her friends made it. What was your friend's name? Sydney. Sydney. Right. There's actually chaos here, but she jumped onto a rock and got slow <laughs> nailed. 
Are you alright? Maybe you should jump on my board. Can you, sir? Can you? A little bit, yeah. Well, here, just you jump on and I'll pull you. Yeah, maybe. Nah, you jump on. Uh, I reckon it's so shallow here with chilled anyway. No, you. Yeah, I think so. I'm in a hole. Let's go out further. <laughs> you never want to be. It's like always best to be out. Yeah. Away from all. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You should just paddle on my board. Can you paddle? Can you paddle out as well? No, I mean, like, just actually take my board and paddle out. Can you swirl? Yeah. Can you paddle? Yeah. We're fine. You're pretty much fine. Yeah. <laughs> Go under. I reckon you've made it. No, I feel wow. But just stay away from the rock. You're, you're making it. I didn't get, I didn't come that way. Oh. Yeah, all right. Well, that was pretty funny. Two young girls tried to go across the rocks and we're getting smashed. One of them made it across and the other one just walked back over to safety. That so just goes to show you can't, you can't muck around on the rocks. Like just because you see other people do it, you don't know how experienced they are. Like us, we've been doing it our whole lives. It's fully chilled. But when you haven't got any experience with the waves and the rocks, it's just too dangerous. And they had no idea what they were doing. Like I was even getting pumped trying to like help them. Anyways, they're back safe now. Really fun stuff, I just started getting like too hungry, eh? <laughs> and then I saw them in trouble. So I thought oh, I'd get one more wave and go in and see what's going on. Yeah. Well, that was a really fun sir. Got a few pretty good waves. Did a couple of airs, but it was just pretty weird, like with a GoPro in your hand. I'm still getting used to it at the end. Probably better just to go for a surf. Then you can't really film it, can ya? Such a nice day. Whew. This is ridiculous! <laughs> 